Welcome to Glad Rap, and today we're here at Rebel Liga, Don Conway's gym, as he drinks his coffee <laughs> from BP. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah, yeah. yeah wants some sponsorship. <laughs> um, okay, and uh, today we're talking with Lani, the smiling assassin, Daniels, as she is coming up on her uh, first fight since the world title fight. How are you feeling? Yeah, fe feeling pretty good. I'm pretty excited, actually, yeah. just to get in there. Just to get in there? Yeah. So, um, let's, before we get into that, um, let's touch base on your career a little bit, because, like, um, obviously, you've we've spoken about your career in the past, um, how you've gone through a big uh, amateur background with you and your sister as well. Yeah. yeah. How's your sister going? Oh, she's waiting for surgery at the moment, so... Surgery? What's happening with her? Knee. Ouch. <laughs> So, yeah, she's not really active at the moment. I oh, was doing stuff around that, but just, yeah, not fighting anytime soon. You, you've had a knee problem, haven't you? <laughs> no, it was your it was your elbow. Elbow, that's right. You know, elbow, knee, same thing. Um, yeah. <laughs> then you made your um, pro debut in 2016, 17, 16? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you, you uh, made your t pro debut against um, Trish Vaka on the Hemi versus Daniel Tai um, undercard, and then went on to face Trish uh, again after for the New Zealand title. So, um, how how was uh, battling Trish a couple of times? Um, it was good because she's got some pretty good skill. Um, and fortunately, after that, I was able to spar her because she's we live quite closely together. Yeah. So, yeah. It was kind of like it's a little bit different because because you live quite closely together, so you're fighting someone in your region, uh, kind of a home girl, <laughs> like fi fighting your um fighting someone from your hometown as well. Mm, um, yeah, so pretty tough, um, and I know she wouldn't stop, just keep coming. So. Did you help her with um, when she fought in Australia? Um, no, I think we had a kind of a little break there, but that was a good fight. Yeah. Yeah. Her first win of her career, and she actually made it to the top ten of um, because of that fight as well. Yes, yeah, yeah, she got one up on me on that one because she's there was a nice stoppage. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully you get your stoppage soon. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, so um, after that, you went on to fight. I'm just trying to calculate it now. No, no. I think uh, immediately after you fought uh, oh, Gi yeah. Giovanna, Giovanna first time. Um, who did I fight after that? And after Gio the first Giovanna, then you fought Tessa. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I believe so. Oh, yeah, so it's history repeating. Yeah, yeah. I believe that means I would win. <laughs> 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 well, I hope so. Um, so, like, it's... Giovanna, the first fight, was quite a hardcore fight. Um, it was something that sparked a lot of people that a women's boxing was amazing, uh, um, has kind of created that spark of what, like, women boxing is amazing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, like, um, that's when, I think, more f fans of yours started uh, creating, apart from the ones from back home, but, like, more fans from Auckland coming to come watch you. Mm. Yeah. Is there, like, um, ha what, how do you feel from that moment um, after, I mean, yes, you've lost that fight, but, like, um, that kind of creating the atmosphere of that first fight? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a good fight. Um, I think I wasn't 100% that, that fight. So I was actually quite surprised how well I did do. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. And then actually, no, you didn't fight Tessa straight away. You fought Lani first. Who? Lani Dan... Oh, sorry, not Lani. Nailini. Uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking of. I yeah, 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 you, you fought yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah so um, in that fight with, with Nailini, you kind of like just outboxed her. Yeah, and I think it worked well because she didn't kind of put that pressure on. So I kind of got to dictate the pace as well. Yeah. I think that was your first fight under John Foley. Is that right? Yeah. 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 Was that right? Yeah. And then you fought Tessa, um, which is your next opponent um, coming up soon. Um, but are you, for this fight coming up, do you expect a completely different Tessa from first time round? I definitely expect a more improved Tessa. Um, you know, I've seen her training with the champ, world champ. So, um, 
I'm looking forward to it. I think that's kind of given me a bit more motivation as well to put extra into my own training. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. Well, let's talk about um, your world title fight because you had quite a long time uh, preparing for that world title fight with Giovanna, that the second fight. Yeah, yeah. I think the height was pretty cool. Like, yeah. it was kind of like real up there. I think it's like the biggest hyped female fight in New Zealand history as well. Yeah, yeah. No, I now I kind of noticed that. I think at the time it was kind of just getting used to. The, to the whole idea, I yeah. suppose. Yeah. I mean, you're kind of focused in here, um, yeah. boxing, and me and John, like, Facebook posting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but, like, um, do, do you, like, look on, like, Google and Facebook and see the reaction of all the fights and, well, oh, that particular fight before and after? Um, yeah, and I think the response is better than what was in my own head. <laughs> but I guess that's losing, you know. Yeah. It sucks. But, um, I, yeah. I think that actually re-watching the actual fight, it didn't look as bad as what I had felt like in there. Yeah. yeah. Um, although I think it's different to my style, but I think it, that's just more learning that I got out of it. Like, I think I've become a better fighter. Mm. More so on the inside, because I'm not one to kind of stand in there and fight. Yeah. I tend to like my range. Um, so I think it definitely helped me in that sense. Because um, you're well known to be the technical fighter, but not as much as the um, aggressor, brawler type. Yeah, know. and I think that's what that fight's kind of given me, I feel. is, yeah. And I think um, mentally as well, I think I'm maybe a bit more hungrier. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I feel like I want to be a bit more aggressive, as well as still being quite in control as well, yeah. technically-wise. So, yeah. Yeah. And uh, John just kind of try to get some more mongrel in you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like, what was quite magical was like, not just like the atmosphere of the night. I mean, for myself and Giovanna on my side, we saw something that that has never happened in boxing in New Zealand. We saw, saw the rainbow flags. I don't know if you saw, saw that either. Did you Did you see that or? No. 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 Well, the support was there <laughs> in the rainbow community, which is like a very like rare 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 thing because gay people in boxing they think oh masculine <laughs> but um but what was magical afterwards was how we all shared uh that moment with like your family giovanna uh giovanna's camp your camp and just like just chatting with each other yeah i think that kind of made the night a bit more special like it wasn't something that i was expecting yeah. um but it was really really cool and i guess to it kind of um highlighted what we're doing for women's boxing yeah. like that, that was cool like yeah. it felt like women's boxing was the true winner yeah. On to, yeah well it wasn't just like a fight between each other but kind of like fighting for well yeah I guess fighting for your right uh, uh, fighting for to get that attention for um for the right to be up there like Joseph Parker and Junior Farr and say that we can fight better than them because I think you can. <laughs> <laughs> Are they watching this? Um, <laughs> well, yeah, and, well, you two were quite aggressive fighters just like them, so. Yeah, yeah no, I think it was real good um, good for women's boxing in New Zealand and, you know, I think we captured a lot of people overseas as well, which is cool, like our, the ref seem quite impressed by the performance yeah um, so, yeah so so that's pretty cool to um, have people like that recognize yeah. um, and make um, good comments about it so yeah, yeah. and um, like also getting the main event spot on Sky TV and um, being broadcast across New Zealand I think that from what I the figures was like 40,000 people watched it or something like that yeah, that's pretty good considering it wasn't live I think that yeah. was probably the only down for about it which I think they may have kicked themselves afterwards because it was yeah. a pretty good night. From, from what I heard, like there was like three events that night. You know, the Shane Cameron fight, the kick Fox and yeah, uh, King of the Ring and um, <clears throat> and obviously this night and this ended up being the better event out of the three and I, I, from what I've heard they're kind of kicking themselves and they're going to put more investment into women's boxing and into the next event that comes up in October as well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah for the sport cool for us yeah yeah cool cool for you guys <laughs> yeah Amos <laughs> you already are well I mean like you you had like some media coverage before this fight as well yeah um, during your amateur times as well yeah I've had a little bit of articles here and there yeah I kind of sent a couple here and there too up north sometimes they published it yeah 
Uh, I, I did a little bit of work. <laughs> um, but yeah, again, that all that exposure, becoming famous. Uh, do you get much fan mail now? <laughs> um, no, but I get the odd mail for um, just good luck and stuff yeah. from people I don't know, but <laughs> see them commenting in the boxing world yeah. and on posts and stuff. So one thing that um, I always uh, almost forgotten about was the big mess of Haka. Like, I think it was almost half the audience of the whole. <laughs> um, of the Sky City um, Convention Centre like stood up did a haka for you while you were walking out, walking out. Yeah, that was pretty cool. You know, that, that was one thing that I was so um, upset about that they didn't actually cover that um, on Sky. I mean, yes, it was Giovanna's moment. But, uh, uh, like, those sorts of things. You don't see that often. You don't see that in other sports, what you see that with rugby, but not so much like where the crowd will actually do it for the players or for the crowd doing it for the sports people. So it's quite a, not just the backstage special moment, but that special moment with your whanau. Yeah, yeah, um, that was cool. <laughs> like, it, yeah, I got quite emotional over that. Like just, you know, um, I think I'm lo losing and then having that, like it made me feel like I won. <laughs> like it actually did. And I guess that's just how proud they were of me, I guess. Yeah. Because like um, when I was sitting in the room with Giovanna and uh, she also turned around to the watch that moment because like she said that this is um, this here is what Lani's moment is. Um, it's not um, it's not a negative thing. This is a positive thing for her. Yeah, yeah, which it is. I think like you know it made me feel like oh, <laughs> no, family's most important at the end of the day. No, boxing's there, but. Yeah, family's first, I suppose. <laughs> so, um, this fight with Tessa, uh, main eventing again, um, I think it's like your fifth or fourth main event fight, is it? So, something like that? Yeah. yeah. Main event in the pros, except for my debut. Yeah, actually, that, that, that's about right. About it. Yeah. Just to call you Lani, the main eventer. Yeah, maybe I did a name change. <laughs> yeah, and so you're. Um, it's just um, kind of not restarting, but re-imaging your boxing career um, with a new weight class as well. Mm, yeah. yeah, that's quite exciting, um, and I think too with me and John as well because I kind of was a bit down after losing and think oh my gosh I let him down I let you know I let a lot of people down but um I think after that fight I feel it's kind of made us a tighter team yeah. so looking forward to what we bring to the ring on the night for a second there for you said he went on a diet as well did you <laughs> I actually think he's trimmed down a bit because he helps me out quite a bit yeah. like sparring wise and and I've seen him actually get a bit sweaty in the morning um, yeah. sprints. <laughs> because you, you run up and down the um, Linmore, um stairs and... Um, uh, yeah, if I, if I make it down on the Thursday, then I'll get to do that. Um, but yeah, he posts up quite regularly with the others, which is motivating because I'm up north yeah. training. I'm yeah. like, oh, they're going, I better keep, keep up, so I keep up on the weekend. Is there that, that, that big hill? Because you live in Whangarei, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you go go up that big hill to the top to see. Oh, Parihaka? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I haven't had an opportunity to do it this time around, but I did it quite a bit um, for, in prep for Giovanna. Well, you got two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's going to be a completely different Tessa. Um, you you expect a cleaner, um, a, a, probably a more cleaner puncher, probably a more aggressor, and. Um, stronger as well because she's also coming down in weight oh i think this is her second fight in middleweight as well yeah yeah um i think that she'll probably be just busier because i think fr from her memory our last fight she was quite she was the aggressor mm -hmm. and she just kept pressing the whole time um and i just kind of kept her. yeah and kept up fought her on the back foot um so i um, and she was able to maintain that through the eight rounds so uh, with her being a lot better, I guess, um, yeah, we'll change things up a bit. I think you only lost one round to her for that fight, because I judged that fight. Um, I was trying to remember that fight. <laughs> yeah, it was, and it was, I think it was like the sixth or fifth round, like somewhere in the ma that middle, middle there. Middle yeah. part. Yeah, I tend to kind of... And John screaming from the corner. <laughs> I took a uh, rest round, but now um, the aim is to kind of stay on it the whole way. Yeah. 
Mm. And like, what's different from this for her is that she's actually had her first win against Trish Vaca as well. Yeah, that was an epic fight. Yeah. Like, like actually, it was a real epic fight. Um, personally, I think Tess, um, Trish. Trish may have got it. I don't know if that was Ooh. a bit of uh, <laughs> bias because I like both girls. Yeah. Both are like real choice girls. Um, but I guess yeah. um, Trish being from up home. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, but the, that was a mean fight to watch. Like, some of those hits, I was surprised after both were standing because both landed some pretty solid. Um, and for Tessa, usually is the one on the inside. Trish was the one dominating, and I noticed Tessa had to pop out because mm. it seemed like Trish was too strong, and if she had a stuck to that, yeah, yeah Trish may have got the win. So uh, she is training um, from what I saw online is that she's training with Giovanna. Has that kind of like um, inspired you a little bit? Yeah. Kind of like, well, if you're going to train with her, I'm going to kick your ass. Kind of thing. Pretty much. No, <laughs> <laughs> no but it, it has because I think after my loss, it did take me a bit of motivation. Like I did lose the motivation a bit. Um, but I feel that um, knowing she's training hard, and you know, I just have to buck my ideas up, and yeah, it's kind of given me that little bit of boost that I needed yeah. um, to know that you know she is actually training with the world champ, so she'll be um, coming into the ring prepared on the night. It's <laughs> different training with the world champ and actually fighting the world champ as they well. Fought. They've yeah. fought a few times actually. Oh, yeah, they? yeah, they they have fought twice, but like you fought the world champ when she was before like. For the oh. title, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, so, you know, um, I guess that's what Tessa will be coming with as well. Um, th that opportunity's there because she can say, I have been in that position, which will kind of line her up for an opportunity as well. So I guess for both of us, it's a big opportunity. And, yeah. yeah. So oh, I was, was wondering, so how does it feel going down to uh, middle ways? Like, are you hungry all the time? <laughs> Uh, I think psychologically I am. Like I've really struggled because I've uh, in the heavier weights I didn't really have to worry too much and I could just kind of graze a bit. Um, whereas like, now I have to be a bit. I have to kind of watch it a bit more. Because like you were, you went from light heavy. Now you're in middleweight, so it's nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. So it's seven kgs. Yeah, but in, in saying that, with the fight against Giovanna, yes, okay. I was on the lighter end. Mm. Um, and that was, yeah, so I guess yeah, diet. Yeah, comfortable in the lower weights. Yeah. yeah. Feels nicer. Yeah. <laughs> not as heavy. Yeah, not as heavy. <laughs> um, and I believe it's your um, aim to eventually get down to 69, is that right? Yeah. yeah. And there, there's a lot of good girls in 69 as well because, good, like, um, Gentile and Loopy actually fought at 69 in her last kickboxing fight. Oh wow! I didn't realize that. Yeah. Did you, Did you? Would you be interested? The lady from Wellington. Yeah. Triple A or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh yes, I saw Tess fight her in a kickboxing fight. Yeah. Which was pretty good. I think Tess got the win. Yeah. Um, but it seemed like it was just Tess had the advantage with her hands. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that was a good fight. Would you be interested in a fight with Loopy one day? Yeah, anybody. <laughs> so, so what are you talking about? I'll, yeah. I'll kick everyone. <laughs> I'm not kicking anyone, I'll punch anyone. <laughs> yeah. Good, good, good attitude for it. So, John, come off here, <laughs> eventually. Maybe kick someone, because uh, I do want to have a kickboxing fight. Oh, eventually. You, you can help with that. At the end. How do you feel about that? <laughs> kickboxing? Yeah, like a bucket yeah. list. A bucket list. Be a bucket list one. Yeah, maybe after the boxing's done. Yeah. How was um, training uh, learning this time around? It's the same, we've just gone onwards and upwards really, it's the um, same old thing, we're going through the same drills, um, just fine tuning the boxing skills, getting that fitness up, but yeah, it's all, it's all going well. I can see like um, you two are almost on the, well almost, you are on the same um, wavelength, uh, like I see like your relationship between each other have been quite closer, a lot closer um, after the last fight, I mean, like you guys were close, but I think it's a lot more closer this time around. Would you say that? Mm, probably. It's um, it'll it'll um show what I saw in Lani it'll sh in her next fight. It'll show her character, which I saw in her right from the beginning. How she'll come from a loss and have a great performance in the next fight, and and almost that was really um, you know, it, it took us about a day or two to get past. Well, personally, me. To get past the loss and carry on forwards, um, it took Lani a little bit longer, 
but um, I saw forgotten, saw saw in the past. But um, but we always get on. We <laughs> we made a fight yet, have we? <laughs> <laughs> well, apart from in the ring. <laughs> Yeah, no, we, uh, a, a trainer and a and a fighter must have a good relationship. Otherwise, you, you, you couldn't train. Yeah, what's the point? Yeah. What's the point? yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, you're mainly focusing on the um, if you zoom in right up here, the Daniels versus. Very sorry if I um, mispronounce it. Tua Levau. <laughs> Did I get it right? <laughs> Oh, fantastic. You're mainly focusing on that fight currently, but um, I know that Lani will be fighting on the Giovanna um, world title undercard in October 4th. Um, do, you, do you know um, any particular idea who that could possibly be, or you just don't care? You just um, at, at the moment, I've got a, we've got some names, me and Bruce have been throwing some names around, but I'm not really... The, the date's booked and, and she's going to fight on that night, but as far as who, uh, we haven't decided really, and I'm not really investing too much time in that. Yeah. I'm more investing in watching Tessa's fights on, <laughs> on, on DVD and working out the strategy and a plan to uh, win every round. Is there um, a aim to get, go down to the 69 or going to stay at 72 um, for the um, October fight? Um, 69 is a good weight division. There's a lot of good fighters, um, better opportunities. Um, but we wouldn't go lower than 69, but we could stay at middleweight. But, I mean, we possibly could go back up to, to light heavy, if, if, you know. The right opponent. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. But uh, for now, 72.5 is our goal, and we're pretty close there now. Yeah, yeah just in the, the week of fight or a few days before, we'll just sort of dry up a bit and we'll make that weight easy. So you've been um, losing some weight as well, <laughs> but I can see. <laughs> <laughs> so is that you're kind of like um <laughs> you were fat before no <laughs> moral, support. moral support yeah um, we're, we're on a diet <laughs> <laughs> but so what sort of diets um are you kind of like um putting each other on um well if if not if what sort of diet are, are you on real foods real foods <laughs> yeah yeah that's this year so i'd go into the supermarket and my bro- uh, nephew and niece is like real foods is that any real foods i'm like okay yeah real foods real food. no more mcdonald's <laughs> um or burger king <laughs> so depressing <laughs> so, oh hey how's it going <laughs> all right so we'll, we'll li- leave this for one uh, two more questions oh, no, it's not really one's not really a question what is your message for tessa looking down to the camera <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> and last, yeah. And um, last um, thing is, give your message to your support to your far now for the people that support of you. Uh, what's your message to them? Um, shout out to everybody who follows me, who um, supports me, and yeah, love to you all. Fantastic. I'm looking forward to that fight. It is for the PBC NZ New Zealand middleweight champion for the vacant title. Hoping maybe for your let's see your third title now. Uh, uh, third New Zealand title will be, I think you if you win this title, you'll be the first female to win. Oh, you'll, you'll have the most, um, weight not just weight categories, but titles as well. Oh. Well, there's that too. But this, um, because... Different weight categories because I did one light, heavy, super middle, and then middle. Yes. Yeah. Because um, Daniela Smith, I think, had two New Zealand titles, and she had the record for the most New Zealand titles. So, um, and that, which was matched by Giovanna. So you'd be, uh, you'd if you win the fight, you'd um, have the most New Zealand titles for a female. So. Yeah. So yeah, um, keep an eye out for that. Uh, you got tickets still available for you guys? How many tickets you got? <laughs> no, don't say that. <laughs> no, you, you, you can. You got a few, so get, you can get your tickets from John. You can get your tickets from Lani. You can get just John. Okay, don't don't talk to Lani. She's busy. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, just get get them from John and yeah. See you there.